Let's play the Who Am I game. It's one of my favorites. Who am I? You're right. I am a panda, and that's my eye. Who am I? You're right. I'm an elephant, and that's my skin. Who am I? You're right. I am a zebra, and those are my stripes. Who am I? You're right. I am a butterfly, and that's my wing. You're doing great. Who am I? You're right. I am a flamingo, and those are my feathers. Who am I? You're right. I am a turtle, and that's my shell. Who am I? You're right. I am a camel, and that's my hump. Who am I? You're right. I am a duckling, and that's my down. Terrific! Let's go on to the next level. Who am I? This is your score so far. Eight. Oh well, try again. Who am I? Come on into the animal dictionary. Click on the camera to play the photo safari game. A. Alligator. Ant. B. Baboon. Baboon. Bald eagle. Beaver. Bison. Blue-footed booby. Butterfly. Brown bear. Bobcat. Try to get all the way to 92. Click on the striped cat that likes to eat jackrabbits. Bobcat. You're right. Click on the monkey who can open its mouth very wide. Baboon. You're right. Click on the white-headed bird that's a symbol of America. Bald eagle. You're right. Click on the wild ox that looks like a big cow. Bison. You're right. Click on the flying insect that starts life as a creepy crawly caterpillar. Butterfly. You're right. Click on the big rodent that chops down trees with its teeth. Beaver. You're right. Click on the bird that has funny colored feet and a funnier name. Blue-footed booby. You're right. Click on the reptile who's related to a crocodile. Alligator. You're right. Click on the big brown mammal that naps all winter. Brown bear. You're right. Click on the brown insect that moves in groups called colonies. Ant. You're right. You're doing great. Click on the house pet that meows and loves to play with a ball of yarn. C. Cat. You're right. Click on the baby animal that loves to eat honey. Cub. Bear. You're right. Click on the speedy cat that runs faster than any other animal. Cheetah. You're right. Click on the farm animal and its baby that both go moo. You're right. Click on the baby mooing animal by itself. Calf. You're right. Click on the baby cat that has spots on its fur. Cub.
leopard. You're right. Click on the animal with a hump or two on its back. Camel. You're right. Click on the crawling insect that turns into a butterfly. Caterpillar. You're right. Click on the reptile that changes color. Chameleon. You're right. Click on the sea creature that has claws for hands. See? Crab. You're right. Click on the very friendly smart ape that can use tools. Chimpanzee. You're right. You're doing great. Click on the spotted baby animal that grows up to be a deer. D. E. F. Fawn. You're right. Click on the animal that's related to a horse. Donkey. You're right. Click on the pink bird that likes to wade in shallow water. Flamingo. You're right. Click on the smart animal that sometimes outfoxes hunters. Fox. You're right. Click on the big mammal with a trunk for a nose. Elephant. You're right. Click on the animal with antlers on its head. Elk. You're right. Click on the amphibian that can jump from place to place. Frog. You're right. Click on the yellow baby bird with a bill. Duckling. You're right. Click on the furry house pet that can hear sounds that you can't. Dog. You're right. You're doing great. Click on the quiet animal with a very long neck. Giraffe. You're right. Click on the eye animal that leaps its way around the plains of Africa. Eye. Impala. You're right. Click on the big furry mammal that has babies called cubs. H. G. Grizzly bear. You're right. Click on the African ape that is gentle and shy. Gorilla. You're right. Click on the animal that gives us milk and has kids for kids. Goat. You're right. Click on the very big relative of the pig that sometimes sleeps in the mud. Hippopotamus. You're right. Click on the four-legged animal that people love to ride. Horse. You're right. Click on the bird that glides in the sky. Hawk. You're right. Click on the bird that's related to ducks and swans. Goose. You're right. You're doing great. Click on the animal that jumps its way around Australia. Kangaroo. You're right. Click on the crustacean that crawls along the ocean floor. Lobster. You're right. Click on the water creature you can see through. J. K. L. Jellyfish. You're right. Click on the grayish bear that isn't a bear and only eats leaves from eucalyptus trees. Koala. You're right. Click on the animal that gives us wool and goes bah. Lamb. You're right. Click on the monkey that has dark rings around its eyes. Lemur. You're right. 
Click on the baby cat. Kitten. You're right. Click on the big cat that grows a mane of hair around his neck. Lion. You're right. Click on the big cat that does a lot of hunting and makes a good mother too. Lioness. You're right. You're doing great. Click on the animal that is sometimes called a sea cow. M. N. O. Manatee. You're right. Click on the animal that hoots in the night. Owl. You're right. Click on the sea creature whose long nose makes it look like a unicorn. Narwhal. You're right. Click on the great ape that loves fruit and walks on all fours. Orangutan. You're right. Click on the biggest bird in the world. Ostrich. You're right. Click on the member of the squirrel family that looks like a beaver. Marmot. You're right. Click on the animal with antlers that's the biggest member of the deer family. Moot. You're right. Click on the reddish brown animal that's so dangerous it isn't allowed in some countries even in zoos. Mongoose. You're right. Click on the friendly little animal with a tail who eats insects and spiders. Meerkat. You're right. You're doing great. Click on the bird that likes to show off its beautiful tail. P. Q. Peacock. You're right. Click on the animal that looks like it's covered with needles. Porcupine. You're right. Click on the bright colored bird that rhymes with pretzel and doesn't start with a P. Quetzal. You're right. Click on the sea creature that loves to jump and play. Porpoise. You're right. Click on the pink farm animal that snorts and plays in the mud. Pig. You're right. Click on the bird with a big beak for carrying fish. Pelican. You're right. Click on the waddling bird that looks like it's wearing a tuxedo. Penguin. You're right. Click on the baby dog. Puppy. You're right. Click on the furry bear that lives around the North Pole. Polar bear. You're right. Click on the black and white bear that eats only bamboo leaves and stems. Panda. You're right. You're doing great. Click on the animal that looks like it's wearing a mask. R. S. S continued. Raccoon. You're right. Click on the big gray jungle animal with a horn on its nose. Rhinoceros. You're right. Click on the furry animal that has long ears and loves carrots. Rabbit. You're right. Click on the sea animal with a hooked tail. Seahorse. You're right. Click on the whiskered sea animal that can bark and clap. Sea lion. You're right. Click on the sea animal that scares many fish and people too. Shark. You're right. Click on the creature with lots of hairy arms. Spider. You're right. Click on the 
creature with no legs or arms, but a tail that can make a noise. Rattlesnake. You're right. Click on the slow animal that has antennae and carries its home on its back. Snail. You're right. You're doing great. Click on the reptile that moves very slowly and lives very long. S continued. T. U. Tortoise. You're right. Click on the striped animal that's the biggest cat of all. Tiger. You're right. Click on the furry animal that lives in trees and gathers nuts. Squirrel. You're right. Click on the reptile that comes out of the sea to lay its eggs. Turtle. You're right. Click on the white long-necked bird that likes to mate for life. Swan. You're right. Click on the blue fish that's named after a mythical creature. Unicorn fish. You're right. Click on the amphibian that loses its tail as it grows up. Tadpole. You're right. Click on the bird with a brightly colored bill. Toucan. You're right. Click on the sea creature that has more arms than you do. Starfish. You're right. You're doing great. Click on the horned animal that migrates along with the zebra in Africa. V. W. X. Y. Z. Wildebeest. You're right. Click on the bird that starts with the loneliest letter in the alphabet. Xenops. You're right. Click on the wild dog whose house is called a den. Wolf. You're right. Click on the big bird that searches out dying animals for dinner. Vulture. You're right. Click on the big mountain animal that asks why. Yak. You're right. Click on the striped relative of the horse that looks like a black and white photograph. Zebra. You're right. Click on the sea mammal that's the largest animal in the world. Whale. You're right. Congratulations, you got them all right. Good luck! Who makes this sound? Oh well, try again. You're right. A horse goes. Who makes this sound? You're right. A pig goes. Who makes this sound? You're right. A donkey goes. Who makes this sound? You're right. A rattlesnake goes. You're doing great. Who makes this sound? your baby animal names, try to get all the way to 12. I am a tadpole. You're right. I'm a tadpole, a baby frog. I am a cub. Can you find me? You're right. I'm a cub, a baby bear. 
I am a lamb. You're right. I'm a lamb, a baby sheep. I am a fledgling. Can you find me? You're right. I'm a fledgling, a baby stork. You're doing great. I am a duckling. You're right. I'm a duckling, a baby duck. I am a kid. Can you find me? You're right. I'm a kid, a baby goat. I am a foal. Can you find me? You're right. I'm a foal, a baby horse. I am a calf. Can you? You're right. I'm a calf, a baby cow or bull. You're doing great. I am a fawn. Can you? You're right. I'm a fawn, a baby deer. I am a kitten. You're right. I'm a kitten, a baby cat. I am a joey. You're right. I'm a joey, a baby kangaroo. I am a puppy. You're right. I'm a puppy, a baby dog. Congratulations! You got them all right. You really know your baby animal names. Come on into the baby animal movie theater. Hey, do you have any popcorn? People who change their behavior a lot are sometimes called chameleons. That's because chameleons change colors a lot. Did you spot the chameleon baby? The chameleon can change colors quickly. By changing colors, it can't be seen by its enemies or by those insects or small birds it might want to sneak up on and kill for food. When an animal is hard to see against the background, it is camouflaged. A chameleon is a type of lizard. Dipper. Chow time. Just like baby humans, little birds don't do much else but sleep and eat when they are young. With their mouths wide open, baby birds cry for food from their mother. This is called begging. Baby birds grow up in a home called a nest, which is built by their parents from twigs and other materials from nearby, like grass. Mongoose, a vicious little beast. The mongoose hunts by day and night. Mongooses are considered so dangerous that they are not allowed in the United States, even in zoos. Mongooses live in Africa, Asia, and Europe. Mongooses are distant relatives of cats. The mongoose is known as an enemy of the cobra, which is a type of snake. The mongoose tempts the snake to strike, then grabs it by the head and kills it. Rabbit, the Easter animal. Like the cute and fuzzy chick, soft and furry baby rabbits are symbols of the spring holiday of Easter. Baby rabbits are born with no hair and with their eyes shut. Rabbits have gentle natures, but an adult rabbit will defend its young. Do you know what a baby rabbit is called? A baby rabbit is called a bunny. Lemur, at home in Madagascar. Lemurs are active mostly at night. Animals that are night creatures, like owls, are called nocturnal. Baby lemurs begin life by hanging on to their mother's stomach. After about a week, they begin riding on her back. Lemurs live only one place in the world, the island of Madagascar, off the east coast of Africa. Embryo, a look inside. This developing baby looks like it is head up in the mother's womb. When it's ready to be born, the baby will turn head down and come out of the mother head first. When the baby's born, the umbilical cord that ties it to the mother is cut. A few days later, the leftover cord falls off the baby and leaves a belly button. 
Inside the mother, the baby quietly grows for nine months until it is ready to be born. The baby gets all its food from the umbilical cord. The umbilical cord goes from the baby's stomach to the mother's womb. Porcupine, a prickly character. A newborn porcupine weighs more than a pound. That might not seem like much, but it is when you realize that the porcupine moms only weigh about 12 pounds. A new porcupine may even weigh more than a new black bear. Porcupine mothers try to find a safe nest to keep their babies, like the hollow of a tree. Porcupines also have another way to protect their babies from others, a back full of sharp quills. A baby porcupine's spines are soft and white, but they become hard a few days after birth. Squirrelfish, no pictures. Even though the squirrelfish is small, it can find even smaller fish to eat. Squirrelfish, like people, come in different colors. There are black fin squirrelfish, crimson ones, red orange ones, and violet ones, to name a few. Squirrelfish are shy and don't like divers to take their picture. They will turn their heads away when they see a camera. Cat, from yarn to mice. A baby cat is called a kitten. A baby kitten only wants milk from its mother. At birth, a kitten weighs about one-fourth of one pound. With their eyes and ears unopened, they use their nose to smell out their mother. Mother cats move their baby kittens by holding the backs of their kittens' necks in their mouths. This is the same way that lions move around their babies, called cubs. Cats and lions are relatives. Do you know what a baby cat is called? Salmon, heading home. Spawning means the whole process of making and having babies, if you're a fish. Spawning means fish mating and then laying eggs or live babies. When it's time to have offspring, which is another word for babies, salmon return to the same river where they were born. Often they jump up waterfalls to make their way up river. Do you know what spawning means? Duck, from fluff to feathers. Female and male ducks often look alike until right before they're ready to mate. Then the male duck will develop pretty colored feathers and look for a female. Duck, signs of spring. Baby ducks are often born in the spring, which is why they are often a symbol for the spring holiday of Easter. Do you know what a baby duck is called? A mother duck never feeds her babies directly. Instead, the babies watch how the mother uses her beak to get food, and then they do the same for themselves. A baby duck is called a duckling. sand and sea. When baby turtles come out of their eggs, they immediately head for the ocean. But before they get there, many are caught and eaten by other animals. A female sea turtle comes ashore to lay about 150 eggs in a sandy hole. Then she goes back to the sea and the eggs hatch alone. Sea turtles live in the ocean but lay their eggs on the land. That's because turtle eggs won't develop in the water. Turtles have been around a very long time. They were living even before the dinosaurs. Osprey, diving for fish. Many hunters used to kill ospreys. Now the ospreys must be protected so they do not become extinct. Beaver, the engineer. Osprey chicks are usually born two or three at a time. 
When this osprey chick gets older, it will be able to find its own food. Ospreys dive into the water and grab fish with their clawed feet. These claws are called talons. Building a home. Nest building in the bird world is usually done by the female, though sometimes the male helps. Nests are often made of twigs, leaves, and mud. Here, an osprey carries material to build a nest. A nest is a home an animal builds to protect its eggs or newborns or itself. Not all nests are alike. Different animals make different kinds of nests. But most nests are in the shape of a bowl. Macaque, the swimming monkey. As with other types of monkeys, the macaque hangs out with its family and the females care for the young. The macaque monkey is sometimes used in medical research. Macaque monkeys like living in the forest. They move around easily on the ground, in the trees, or even swimming in the water. Arctic fox, white on white. Foxes are known for being smart. If a person does something very clever, we might say he or she was as sly as a fox. Blue-footed booby, warm feet. When birds or animals sit on their eggs to keep them warm, they are incubating the eggs. Many birds and other animals sit on their eggs to keep them warm until the babies inside the eggs are ready to come out. Do you know the word for this? Boobies keep their eggs warm with their feet. The warm blood that runs through their feet gives off heat to warm the eggs. Goose, cute and tough. A female goose is called a goose, but a male is called a gander. Watch out if you're admiring baby geese. Their parents don't like it and may attack you. A baby goose is called a gosling. Geese take their babies everywhere. When swimming, the babies follow one parent and the other parent swims behind to make sure the little ones don't get lost. Baby geese can swim up to 40 feet underwater. Dog, a best friend. Some animals give birth to babies that are squirming and slippery and ready to go while other animals lay eggs that have babies inside them that are not quite ready. What kind of babies do dogs have? When puppies are born, they are helpless and need lots of care. Mom often picks them up by the loose skin around their neck and moves them to a safer place. Fox, a smart one. Foxes come out of the den when they are about one month old. Most foxes are born in April. Nature makes it so that many animals give birth in spring when plants and trees are blooming and there is much food for everyone. Bobcat, wildcat. The word feline refers to cat things. Bobcat mothers are pregnant for about two months and have two to four young ones at a time. A bobcat likes to eat jackrabbits. Bobcats are also known as wildcats. Koala, piggyback rider. Koala bears live in the wild only in Australia. If you want to see a koala bear anywhere else in the world, you will probably have to go to a zoo. It is unusual for a koala to be so white. This koala is called an albino koala. After the baby koala comes out of its mother's pouch, it rides on her back for a few months. Eventually, the koala is ready to move around by itself. Beaver, the engineer. 
because beavers are so good at using materials to build dams in their comfortable homes, they are known as the engineers of the animal world. A beaver home is called a lodge. It is made mostly of sticks and branches. One of the first lessons young beavers learn is how to strip bark from branches and twigs. Later, the beaver student will learn how to cut down trees with its teeth. Lynx, the bearded cat. Cats have very good hearing. They can see well in the dark, and they also have a good sense of balance. Big cats can roar because of the way their throats are built. The lynx has long hair on its cheeks. When it grows up, the lynx looks like it has sideburns or a beard. Unlike other cats, the lynx can roar but can't purr. Baboon, don't bother the kids. When baboons take a rest from travel, the bigger males, mothers, and babies sit in the center, while the younger males stand outside the circle to watch for danger. Baboons live together in families and are fierce fighters. With their long, sharp teeth, several males can even fight off a leopard. Baby baboons grow to full size in six to eight years. Peacock, the show-off. Plumage means a bird's feathers. Most people and peahens too think the peacock's plumage is beautiful. Peacocks live in Asia and Africa, but people all over the world can usually see peacocks in zoos. A peacock is always male. A peahen is female. Together they are peafowl. Fowl is another word for bird. When a peacock wants to show off for a peahen, he fans out his very colorful tail. It's very pretty, with spots on it that look like eyes. Gray wolf, home is a den. Sometimes a wolf mother will take over an empty foxhole for a den, its home, or she may dig a hole for herself in a hillside. If there's just one, it's called a wolf. If there are more than one, they are called wolves, not wolves. Sometimes a wolf mother will take over an empty foxhole for a den, its home, or she may dig a hole for herself in a hillside. tortoise, a slow, long life. The Galapagos tortoises lay very few eggs. Many of the eggs they do lay are destroyed by other animals on the islands. Because of this, the tortoise is in danger of becoming extinct. Though we use the name turtle for creatures who look like this and live in the water, and the name tortoise for creatures who look like this and live on land, most people use either name for either type. The largest tortoises in the world, like this one here, live in the Galapagos Islands off the South American coast. White stork, nest where they can. A baby stork is called a fledgling. Fledgling is also the name given to other types of baby birds. Many storks live in the same nest. They make it bigger each year. Storks can't talk, but they make noises by clacking their heavy beaks. Some storks like living in cities. In Central Europe, white storks build their nests on tops of houses and churches. Pig, round, pink, and clean. Do you know what a baby pig is called? A baby pig is called a piglet. Piglets snuggle together when they sleep to stay warm. There are more than 300 different types of pigs in the world. 
There are tame pigs and wild pigs. The comic strip Peanuts has a character called Pigpen who is always dirty. But it's strange that we think pigs are dirty, since pigs are actually clean and smart. A female pig is called a sow. A sow has many baby pigs at one time. Sheepdog and chicks. Odd pals. A dog's sense of smell is 1,000 times stronger than a human's. A dog will remember a place by the way it smells, not by the way it looks. To protect its owner, a dog will bare its teeth and snarl when a stranger comes into the house. That same dog will be gentle and playful, as it is here with these chicks. Most dogs are tame and live as pets, but they are related to wolves. Wolves are very wild and live on their own. Swan, mate for life. A male swan is called a cob. A female swan is called a pen. Mother and father swans stay together for life, and both of them look after the little ones. Swan a free boat ride. A baby swan is called a cygnet. Swans make their nests near the water. They especially like little islands where they are safe from dangerous animals. Baby swans start swimming as soon as they are born. When they get tired, they may rest on their mother's or father's back. Do you know what a baby swan is called? Cheetah, faster, faster, faster. Cheetahs usually take care of their babies under a bush or hidden in the long grass. Adult cheetahs are a yellowish color with black spots, but they don't start out looking like that. As babies, cheetahs are gray with no spots. Cheetahs can run as fast as 60 miles per hour, but not for very far. Chimpanzee, clever tool users. Chimpanzees are called chimps for short. Female chimpanzees are usually about 14 years old before they have their first babies. Chimpanzees are clever and can use tools like sticks to solve problems. Some have even learned simple sign languages. These languages were taught to the chimpanzees by humans. A newborn chimpanzee hangs on to its mother's stomach. When it's about six months old, it starts clinging to its mom's back. Orangutan. How about a kiss for Ma? Orangutans like to be in groups. They enjoy touching and being affectionate with each other. Kangaroo. Mom's got a pouch. Male kangaroos get the attention of females by boxing one another. Female kangaroos have only one baby at a time, but while they're pregnant, they may have a newborn in their stomach pouch and a young joey that has just left the pouch. A baby kangaroo, called a joey, moves into its mother's stomach pouch right after birth. The joey leaves the pouch after about six months, but may return briefly when frightened. Kangaroo. Hey, Ma, what's for lunch? A baby kangaroo is called a joey. Do you know what a baby kangaroo is called? The mother kangaroo has four nipples inside her pouch. Her baby will feed or nurse on these. Mountain goat born to run. A mountain goat will use its sharp horns to defend its young. It can even kill a bear if it cuts into its lungs or heart. Most female mountain goats become mothers when they are two years old, but most males have to wait until they are about seven before they become fathers. Baby goats are usually born in the spring when there is lots of grass to eat. 
They can run and play soon after they're born. Deer, hard to find. When a fawn turns one year old, it is known as a yearling. Moose, the solid. A buck is a father deer, and a doe is a mother deer. If you forget which is which, just sing the song Do Re Mi. Do, a deer, a female deer. Young deer, called fawns, play by leaping in the air. Later in life, they will need to leap when escaping danger. Though they are wild animals, deer at national parks see so many people that some of them will sometimes eat out of your hand. Infant, hush little baby. Most humans can't sleep standing up, but cattle, horses, deer, and elephants can. New babies will sleep about 20 hours a day. As adults, they usually sleep seven to nine hours a day. In old age, people will again need more sleep, but not 20 hours. Do babies dream? Mother, one here, one soon. A human baby will not get its first teeth until it is six months old. It won't start to eat solid food until it is nine months old. A female human is pregnant for nine months before giving birth. The baby will not be able to walk on its own for one and a half to two years. The baby is completely dependent on its parents for care. Humans care for their babies longer than any other animal parents. Mother, milk for the newborn. Babies don't get any teeth until they are about six months old. When a mother tenderly holds her baby while nursing, the baby gets a sense of safety and well-being that it will remember all its life. Gorilla, on the move. Full-grown mountain gorillas, the largest kind, can weigh more than 600 pounds. Baby gorillas begin to crawl when they are about two months old and start walking at about eight months. Gorillas don't live in one home like we do. They move around the forest with their families and sleep where there's lots of food. Gorillas need to give and receive affection to be happy. One famous gorilla was given a kitten as a pet and treated it very well. A baby gorilla sleeps in trees with its mother. Gorillas are the largest of the apes and they are usually peaceful. Black Bear, the Ursine teacher. Ursine means anything about bears. One thing a mother bear teaches her cubs is how to escape danger by climbing a tree. She sends them up the tree and they can't come down until she gives them a signal. A female black bear makes a great mother. She takes a lot of care in teaching her young how to survive and care for themselves. Black Bear, model for Teddy. Bears really do like to eat honey, as well as blackberries, huckleberries, frogs, wild mice, insects, nuts, and acorns. At birth, bear cubs are about the size of kittens, and they can't see. Looking at these cute bear cubs, it is no surprise that bears are so popular with children. Teddy bears are favorite bedtime companions, and Winnie the Pooh is one of the most loved characters from children's stories. Lion, time to play. A female lion called a lioness will give birth to a cub about once every two years. Can you believe that these little cubs will grow to eat 90 pounds of food at one meal when they are adults? Female lions work together to raise their young babies called cubs. The cubs will nurse from their mother or even from another lioness in its group. A mother lion carries her cubs by holding the backs of their necks in her mouth. This does not hurt the cubs.
Lion, King of Beasts. Lions usually live together in groups of about 20 female lions and one male, plus their cubs. A group of lions is called a pride. Female lions are called lionesses. Lionesses usually do the hunting for the family. Often they work together as a team to bring home dinner. When a young male lion gets to be about one year old, he starts to grow a mane. This is the collar of hair around the neck that makes the male lions look so different from female lionesses. Lion and lioness, a growl hello. A lioness is pregnant for about 15 weeks. The average sized litter is three or four cubs. A litter is the group of babies a mother gives birth to. Lionesses start breeding when they are about four years old. Lions are known as kings of the jungle. Porpoise, up for some air. Baby porpoises are born underwater. Then the mother and other females push it to the surface so the baby can breathe. A porpoise is really a small whale. Sheep, everywhere that mama goes. Do you know the mother goose rhyme? Mary had a little lamb. Farmers give sheep haircuts to get the wool to make clothes. Do you know the mother goose rhyme? Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? A baby sheep is called a lamb. A grown up female is called a ewe. A grown up male is called a ram. Even when a lamb grows up, it follows its mother wherever she goes. Lambs and their mothers know each other by smell and by the way they ba. Sheep, hey you! A female sheep will usually give birth to one or two lambs a year. A female sheep is called a ewe, pronounced just like you. A ewe will carry her baby lamb inside her for about five months. A few minutes after being born, a baby lamb can stand and walk on shaky legs. Sheep, the woolly ones. Wool comes from sheep, but wool also comes from other animals such as goats, alpaca, vicuna, and others. A lamb's wool coat is called a fleece. Different animal moms have different numbers of milk glands. Kangaroos have four. Humans have two. Most babies depend on their mother's milk for food. The food that mothers eat is turned into milk which is stored in milk glands. Babies get the milk they need by sucking on these glands. Zebras, ready to run. Thanks for playing Kids Zoo. See you soon. Have fun, get smart.